Square Enix has provided us with an update on three of our beloved franchises to lead us into the new year. We already got the update how we will not just play Kingdom Hearts in 2022. And I know everyone is hyped to get that Kingdom Hearts TV show for the 20th anniversary of the series. We also got the information that Final Fantasy 16 has been pushed back by about half a year, which is rather unfortunate. But again, I'm happy that they just provided us a status update on that game so that we know how development is going at the very least. And finally, Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. We also got an interesting tidbit from producer Yoshinori Kitase, who stated that the world of Final Fantasy VII will continue to expand throughout 2022. Now, I'm not sure if he's just referring to the phone game, The First Soldier, that released not too long ago, because that is a possibility. It's more likely, though, that he's referring to Ever Crisis, which is the reimagining of the timeline of the original Final Fantasy VII, as well as the compilation. But I think it could mean even more than that. I think that we could easily get a trailer at some point this year to get us hyped for Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, And maybe, if we're lucky, that release date that we've been looking for. So today on Kafee's Corner, I thought I'd start off by asking your opinion on Kitase's recent comments that the world of FF7 will continue to expand throughout 2022. And I also wanted to delve into what playable characters we could see in Remake Part 2, because at the very least, we're getting Yuffie added to our party. Most likely, Zack as a playable character as well. But who else will grace our presence? I think one such character could be Roche. Roche, the Speed Demon, Soldier 3rd Class for Shinra, could easily join the party. And maybe not even Cloud's party. Maybe he joins Zack's party, searching for Cloud, who he now regards as a fellow friend and rival. He said this several times, in fact, when he's speaking to Yuffie in the Intermission DLC. Cloud has now earned his respect, and it doesn't really seem like Roche has any allegiance to the Shinra Electric Power Company at all. It just seems like he cares about competition and, well, his motorcycle. So I think there's a very strong possibility that exists, especially since we've seen Roche destroy a bunch of machines en route to helping Cloud, that Roche will be a playable character in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. FF7 Remake did a pretty good job of fleshing out several characters, especially Barrett's Avalanche Cell, that consists of Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse. We already know that Big survives the events of the Plague Collapse, so he will certainly be a key player moving forward. But the question is, exactly how key of a player? Will he be a playable character moving forward? We already seem to get a decent amount of backstory on all three of Avalanche's members, but we got a decent amount on Biggs. We know that he supports the Orphanage a lot, we know that he's affectionate with children, and he doesn't like to fight on the front lines very often. He takes a bit more of a support role. We also know he cares a great deal about the planet. So he's not about to sit back and let Shinra destroy it and continue to wreak havoc on all of Midgar. You just know that he's going to try to stop it. So I'm really curious to see what the remake does with his character moving forward. Will he stay in Midgar? and attempt to take down Shinra from within, or will he view Sephiroth as a greater threat to the planet, just like Barret does, and try to seek out Cloud and company? Either way, just the fact that Biggs has survived is instrumental to the remake, and could spell a variety of changes for Part 2. Even if you think I'm completely out to lunch on Roche and Biggs being playable characters, that still doesn't change the fact that we are getting new playable characters in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. We have to. 
even if the story just loosely follows the original. What about Katsith and Sid? What about Red 13, who we kind of got as a party member, but not to the full extent that we would have liked? I know everyone wants to be able to equip him with Materia and use him just like we can Cloud and the like. And that's not even mentioning characters like Vincent Valentine and Yuffie Kisaragi, who I'm actually super curious if they will be required characters. In other words, will they be optional or not? Because Intermission was optional, so there is a good chance that the remake is trying to follow the spirit of the original in the sense that those characters may not have to join your party depending on your decisions. Or maybe they just want you to pay for Intermission in order to have access to Yuffie. I mean, who really knows at this point? One thing is for sure though, we are getting new playable characters in Remake Part 2. The only question that remains is just how many and who will be the playable characters. I'm really curious as to your thoughts on this, and your thoughts on Yoshinori Katase's comments that the world of Final Fantasy VII will continue to expand in 2022. Just leave your thoughts and theories in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos. But even more importantly than that, have yourself a fantastic day. May your heart be your guiding key. And happy gaming.